Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, let's get right into your reading. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of July. Now, your first card here is the Three of Wands. We have the Eight of Cups, the Strength card, the Princess of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Okay. All right, Taurus. So what they're showing me here is you guys are currently experiencing a lot of growth, a lot of opportunities that are coming your way with the three of wands. Um, but this also is speaking to you directly about having the need to really aim high when we're talking about love and when we're talking about romance. It's about not settling. It's about knowing your worth and standing your ground. Now, we also do have the Eight of Cups, and this is symbolizing the energy of your partner. So there could have been some distancing. Uh, it could be that the partner recently pulled away, or it could just indicate that there is, there's almost like a, a waiting period that's happening right now where you're over here waiting to hear from them with the Three of Wands, and the Eight of Cups does indicate the need or the want to walk away from a situation that is no longer working or is no longer um, to the best of their interest. So with the strength card here, this is, I feel that for a lot of you guys, it could have been a connection that was mainly primarily based on the physical. Um, for others of you, it could have been that you've, ch you've been challenged and you've gone through a lot in this connection or with this person that you're dealing with. However, the strength card does indicate that of having the need to, again, be confident in yourself and in your what it is that you are expecting, as well as what you're willing to give in a partnership and relationship. The strength card is exactly that, having the confidence, having the strength, even if you keep telling yourself, Taurus, I'm not strong enough, you know, to walk away, I'm not strong enough to walk away from a situation that is no longer working, but, you know, we have responsibilities. We live together. We have a lease. We have children. Whatever the situation is here, they're telling you, you have the strength and you're stronger than you give yourself credit for. Because a lot of the things that you've put up with, not anyone would have put up with. They would have either walked away or given up in, with this connection a long time ago. So it's about knowing that you are strong enough and that you do deserve better if you feel like you've been mistreated. And it's okay to acknowledge that. It's okay to know your worth. There's, it doesn't make you selfish. I know that oftentimes um, Tauruses are much like the other earth signs, Virgo and Capricorn. When you guys are emotionally invested you guys take the breaking up or separating as, as you know, your, at least your subconscious sees it as failure. So that's the reason why when you are emotionally invested, it takes a lot for you guys to move on. It takes a lot for you guys to give up because it's not, it's not in you. You're not built that way to just give up. But when do we get to the point of saying enough is enough? When do we get to the point of having the need to sacrifice our, our peace of mind, having to sac sacrifice our sanity, having to sacrifice, you know, having to sacrifice yourself to make this work. When do you get to the point of saying enough is enough? Now, what they're showing me here in regards to the advice is the princess of cups and this is a loving message but i feel that this is your spirit guides telling you love yourself taurus genuinely authentically love yourself love yourself enough to know that when there is disrespect you put your foot down and you don't allow that type of disrespect when you're dealing with a partner that could be toxic or that could be very mentally or emotionally abusive. Abuse is abuse no matter if it's physical or not. You have to learn to love yourself enough to say enough is enough. 
because that's ultimately what they're showing me here. There is almost like a hoping or wanting to look towards the future with the three of wands when the partner is already emotionally checked out. But you're still finding the strength within yourself to hold on to that partnership or that relationship or you've convinced yourself that you can work it out. And it's coming at the cost of your own self-love. So there is a need for reflection. There is a need. If there is a separation or there has been a separation, you need to embrace this. Stop trying to rush into going back with each other. Stop trying to force it. They're telling you, take this time to heal. Take this time to find peace within yourself, Taurus. I hope that this gives you guys insight and understanding. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.